Welcome to this first uh, tutorial in the series that we're doing for the Joomla Beat podcast. And in this series, we're going to create a, a gallery where you can um, see a whole range of, of pictures that you upload. And we're going to build uh, that gallery functionality with Seblot. So this is useful for um, a whole range of applications, not just an image gallery. If you want to put a portfolio on your site or, um, or any kind of page where you want to list other content, which includes images, um, then this tutorial will take you through all of those basics. So even if you, you don't want a gallery per se, you'll be able to um, take the concepts that you learn over the next couple of weeks and implement them uh, for whatever need that your website has. So here I've just got a clean installation of the latest version of Joomla on my, on my local host server. And now I'm going to install Seblod, which you can download for free from seblod.com. So now that Seblod's installed, we're going to set up a Joomla category that we can, where we can keep all of our content. So you'll notice that now when we go to the category manager and we click new, we get this modal pop up in order to add a new category. So that's because Seblod's installed. And when we create this category, it's actually going to be created using Seblod itself, uh, which is kind of like a layer on top of Joomla. So this is going to be uh, a Joomla category, but it's a Joomla category created with Seblod. And I'm going to call my category gall gallery images. Okay, now we're going to go into Seblot itself and uh, set up our gallery content type. So when you go uh, to the Seblot component, um, you get this dashboard, which is where you control all of the things that Seblot can do. So you've got a form and content type manager. That's where you create your content types, like how we're going to create a gallery item content type. You've got a field manager, so you can create uh, custom fields in the field manager, or you can do it directly in your content type, and we'll take a look at that in a second. Then you've got a list and search type manager where you can uh, control how you uh, retrieve your content and display it in a list, and then a template manager. So uh, uh, that's taking control of, of uh, I guess, the general layouts and, and templates for your, your content. And uh, Seblood comes with it, a couple of templates already installed by default, or you can head to the marketplace on seblood.com in order uh, to get some additional templates. Okay, so we're going to go to the form and content type manager. And you can see already in the form and content type manager, we've got the four content types that come standard with Joomla. So that's, again, what I was talking about before, that Seblot is a layer on top of Joomla, and the four content types are uh, already here in Seblot, and that's how you create, uh, for example, a Joomla category with Seblot because it's already loaded in here. But we're going to create a brand new content type. But before we do that, we're going to quickly create an app folder. So what an app folder is, it's just a place where you can store all of your content types, list and search types, custom fields and everything. And then later, if you want to uh, package all of that up and install it on a different website with Joomla and Seblot, then you can do so easily uh, in one click. And if we, But if we don't store everything in an app folder, then uh, we don't have that uh, functionality available to us unless we want to go um, back after the fact and assign everything to an app folder that we create. So we're going to create a new application folder and we're going to call it gallery and we're going to put it under the apps folder. Now down the bottom here we can assign a color to it so we can easily identify those items. So you can just make that any color. I'm going to make it that color there and I'm going to give it the character G so uh, we know it's for gallery. And you see there that, yeah, I put it under the apps folder, which is uh, where you should put all of your custom apps that you built. Okay, so now we'll go back to the form and content type manager. Click new. And we're going to use the article skeleton for our, um, for our gallery content item. I mean, our, our content type. And that just means that there's a couple of fields that 
uh, are common to articles that will get loaded in here automatically, which you can see down here. So at the top, we're going to call this gallery item because that's the name of our, our type of content. And we're going to put it in the app folder gallery that we just created. Okay, and down the bottom here, uh, you can see that you've got a whole heap of different positions where you can drag fields from the right into a position. And uh, that's where it will be displayed in the template. And if you have a look up here in the positions, you'll see a map of where all of those uh, where all of those positions are uh, within your page. And if you say put uh, a field into side body A, then it would appear on the right hand side next to top body, main body and bottom body positions. So that just gives you um, a really flexible uh, template where you can assign fields and you don't have to worry about doing any other custom templating yourself. So we're going to add in a couple of custom fields here and we're going to change the layout of uh, of this position um, by dragging in some div fields. So we're going to do a little bit of custom layout uh, directly in this view that you can see here and, um, and create a, a couple of fields that are going to uh, define what our gallery content type is. So first I'm going to scroll down on the right here of our list of fields and find the field called article title backend. And I'm going to drag that up the top here and I'm going to get rid of the other article title field. This article title backend field is just has slightly different styling to the other one uh, and it looks nicer in our, in our backend form where we enter in our content. Then what I'm going to do is on the right hand side here I'm going to change the filter to uh, field starting with D and then you can see that we've got a whole bunch of div fields that uh, will help us to define the layout of our um, of our form. So instead of using the positions that come with this template, I'm going to create my own layout. You're free to do whatever you want uh, and define your layout however you wish. So I'm going to drag in a div there at the, at the top and another div here. Then I'm going to drag in a div in between and then two divs at the bottom here. Now, if I flick over to the number six view, you'll see that I can define um, a class on those divs. And so I'm going to use the Bootstrap classes that come standard in uh, in Bootstrap 2 that's installed in, in Joomla 2, uh, I mean in Joomla 3. And I'm going to name that top one Row Fluid. I'm going to name this one Span 9 and this one Span 3. Okay, now I'm going to flick to the number two view. And here against the category ID, I'm going to choose the category that we already created. So I'm going to set the value to gallery images. So by default, all of the images that we enter into Joomla will be stored in the gallery images category and we don't need to uh, change the category every time we're creating a new gallery uh, gallery item. Okay, and now we're going to create our custom field. And the first one that we're gonna create is a little snippet uh, field where you can add a little description about your um, gallery item. So I'm gonna prefix all of my fields with gallery. So um, just a way of organizing all of the fields that I create um, by the same kind of common theme. And you can see that by default, they're already set to the gallery app folder, which is great. And here is where I select the type of field that I'm creating. So I'm going to scroll down and make this a text area fields. And I'm going to give it the label snippet. Okay, then I'm going to click Save and New. And the next field that I'm going to create is our image upload field. So I'll call that Gallery Image. And this is going to be an image upload field. 
And here we have all of the different parameters for defining uh, our image uh, and uh, how the image is uploaded. So first I'll give it the label image. Here you can define uh, which folder that it's stored in and I'm just gonna keep it in the images folder. Actually, no, I'm gonna create an, a folder within the images folder called gallery. Here you can define whether you want every new item that you upload, the images within that to be stored within a folder uh, with that content items ID, or whether you just want all of the images to be stored in the same folder together, so no subfolders. And I'm gonna say, no, I don't want any subfolders, I just want all of my gallery images to be stored in that gallery folder. Here we can see a preview of the image after we've uploaded it, so that's in our form view. And I'm going to set that to thumbnail one, which you'll see in a second. And I'm going to leave all of the other settings as is. So when I scroll down here, you can see that you've got some processing settings that uh, when you upload the image, you can do some additional processing on it to create different size thumbnails, um, which really comes in handy when you're building something like a gallery because you can create um, thumbnail for the listing view where you can see all of the um, items on the page and then uh, when you click on it and you say you want the image to open up in a light box you want that image to be slightly bigger so you can create a different size thumbnail for that uh, and it just helps you to make sure that all of your images are the same size and everything is kept nice and uniform across your site so i'm going to define thumbnail two and here's a bunch of different ways that you can define your thumbnails, whether you want the image to be cropped to the parameters that you have, stretched, shrunk, or just um, the maximum fit that can fit without uh, ruining the image ratio within the parameters that you define, which is what I'm going to choose. So the resize dynamic max fit option. And I'm going to make this 600 by 400. And then a bigger thumbnail with the same setting, I'm going to make that 1200 by 800. And I want the default uh, way that that image is displayed to be this thumbnail too. Okay, and so you can define any number of different thumbnails that you want, but I'm going to uh, leave it at that. I might change thumbnail one to be slightly different. So just the same proportions uh, as we've got there, but I'm going to change that to be 300 by 200. Okay. So that's our image upload fields, all defined. So we'll click save and close on that. And we're going to drag them up to sit within that span nine div that we entered in earlier. So what we should have is a nice big column on the left that's uh, defined by the span nine class bootstrap two. And then over on the right hand side, we'll get a, a narrower column uh, that'll have our category options and whatever. So it will actually look very similar to uh, the native Joomla uh, form in the back end. Okay, so now that we've defined all of that, we're going to save and close and take a look at how now we can enter uh, a gallery item. So there's a couple of ways that you can enter content items uh, using Seblod. Like we saw before, if you just go to the native article manager or category manager and you click new, then you get the modal pop-up and your custom Seblod content types will appear in that modal. You can also use the add content green button down in the bottom left that Seblod adds uh, to your interface, basically from anywhere within Joomla um, that allows you this quick way of creating content. So you can click on that, click gallery item, and you get the form here. So here you can see I've got the blank form where I can add in the information for my gallery items. So I'm going to go ahead now and, uh, and fill out this form and upload um, my first gallery item. So here you can see that I've uploaded three images uh, using the form, my custom content type form that I created in Seblot earlier. So if I click on one of these content items, it opens up. You can see the snippet text that I've added, the title, 
and the preview image of the, uh, the image that I uploaded. You can see on the right hand side here that gallery images is the category. And if we click on this image, it'll open up the uploaded image in its full size in a light box or a modal window. Take a look at another one. Same sort of thing. So you see that we've created this custom content type and then we're able to add in content items using that uh, the admin form uh, and start populating our gallery with images. So that's the first uh, that's the first tutorial in this series uh, done. Uh, so you've learned now how to uh, well install Seblord and set up an app folder and then define your custom content type, um, which which we've used a gallery for, and add in a few items using um, using the Joomla Article Manager. In the next tutorial, which we'll look at next week, we're going to look at how we can define uh, a page where we display all of our gallery items on that page and, and we start to really see our gallery come to life. So tune in next week uh, for that tutorial.